Let's talk about sort of early. You, any challenges when you were a kid? I mean, were you always sort yeah. of, you know, Ben Vandebunt? Right. Well, I think, that, <laughs> I think, well, and I've never, look, trust me, I don't feel like I'm doing well. I go, I'm riddled like most people, you know, with intense insecurities. Uh, but I, I do think it is interesting as you are starting your path and you see people who are successful, I always find it really intimidating. You know, I see these, you know, you know men or women, they're, I'm 48, you know, so they're my age and they're fit and they're working hard and they have great families and, and you're just like, well, how is it possible that they're doing all these things? They're, you know, they're successful, they're happy, they're self-actualized, they meditate. You know, it's really actually pretty intimidating. And, uh, and it, it actually doesn't work that way. I mean, I think my theory is, you know, there's two kinds of people or families, right? Those that are dysfunctional and those you don't know well. Um, and, uh, and so we all have our own way of bringing things. But you know, that, I think your point earlier was trying to just convey some of the challenges that you face in life and how you learn from them and overcome them. And so for me, I was, Dave and I have known each other a long time, but guys never talk about their feelings or their past. Uh, so I was telling him that when I moved from California to Pennsylvania, I had an undiagnosed learning disability and I had some challenge with my legs. So I had to put braces on my legs uh, so I couldn't play sports. So when I moved to Pennsylvania, I went from feeling you know, pretty good about myself to being 40 pounds overweight and not being able to play sports and so I think what caught Dave's attention is, you know, he's asking me about high school. I said, well, I didn't really go to high school. I observed other people's high school's experiences. So I feel like out of, at the time, what felt like the worst thing that possibly happened, you know, to a 12-year-old was actually spectacular because I went from being probably overly narcissistic and self-absorbed to being, you know, a forced observer. And, you know, I find that incredibly helpful in my career now, you know, to come in and go into a room and immediately figure out what are those people thinking? And you know, that kind of helps in negotiation and business. And I'm sure that's something I wouldn't have done had I not had that experience.